uh, the Kenyans who feared that by revoking their citizenship now they are, they have to hide their Kenyan passports. Now you can pull them out, <laughs> renew it, and use it whenever you are coming home. You are a Kenyan all the time. What are the reasons for you to come to the UK to do that? First of all, this was a need uh, by the Kenyan people abroad and uh, they made several requests that we should be able to give this service. Young people are growing up here, born of Kenyan parents uh, who acquire the age of 18 and don't have an ID. When they come back home, they are disadvantaged. They wanted to register anything which requires an identity card. There are Kenyans in the diaspora who have lost their identity cards. They would wish to replace them. But because home is far and expensive, sometimes they do without that. Uh, if they come home, of course, there is uh, an application to do, the waiting to do, and sometimes you have very little time. So we can do it uh, from here, the comfort of their residence. Yeah. Well, dual citizenship, because everybody's talking about it. I mean, like, for us to apply for the national ID, there's somebody who had denounced the Kenyan nationalism or citizenship for that. So what is the process? Is it going to be doubting that people will not be able to apply for it or will people be bothered? Well, if you renounced your Kenyan uh, citizenship in order to acquire uh, British citizenship or any other citizenship, uh, then you need to apply under the provisions of the new constitution and the new law that we have just enacted. There is already an application form that you will uh, need to fill. And uh, there is no complication about it. Immediately you feel that uh, we will approve it and uh, give you your your passport back or give you your identity card back if you had to surrender that. Is it a process that can be done like the mission here in London? The application um, form? No, I think the minister will have to sign uh, because it is like acquiring uh, a new citizenship. <laughs> so there will be a place for the minister to sign to say that he is now giving you back your citizenship. So that will require your personal application at okay. home. You have a Kenyan ID and, and uh, you don't have a passport, then you are in real trouble <laughs> because uh, you, you definitely will not be able to access any service, any government service. So that is how bad it is. Of course, if you have a passport, you can you can still get those services. But you know, uh, there are services which will require you to have a pin, and uh, you, you, to get a pin, you must be registered with your identity card. Like a transaction in land, uh, buying a property, and, and things like that. even buying a car, uh, even registering a car in your name, your own car is <laughs> very complex. So um, it is actually a very useful uh, document for so day to day. The yeah, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. and People who are born abroad or mothers who are Kenyan are automatically, by the constitution, are automatically Kenyan citizens. So they need only to show that their mother is Kenyan. And we just give them an ID and a passport. Uh, there is no serious complication. It's only those who lost it by virtue of revocation that will have to now get a paper to show that they have got it back. What are you doing as a government to make sure there's security in those documents? Well, the Siokimau thing has shocked everybody. Shocked government, shocked the investors, shocked the Kenya Airport Authority. Uh, that uh, people can acquire, in quotes, land which is not there and uh, have papers which are actually fraudulent, uh, that those papers actually originated from the land office and yet they are not authentic. That is something which uh, no, no, no one was prepared to accept that such a thing can happen. Uh, if, if an ID is produced in Isili, it looks like a Kenyan ID. 
that one I can explain. <laughs> that uh, that is uh, something which is fraudulent done by a crook. But if the ID comes from my office, but but not quite authentic, <laughs> then that is really complicated. So we will need, as a government, to reassure our citizens that if they get documents, they will be authentic documents. Because without that, uh, we might suffer a withdrawal of investment in an area where Kenyans actually uh, are putting in a lot of money. Uh, and, and we need that money because uh, our housing market can still absorb quite a number of uh, houses which we are not producing. So um, I think uh, there will be a, a need for reassurance. Yes, and for the ID card yeah. and passport, is it a problem? Did you get a lot of people getting fraudulent kind of uh, ID card and passport? And how do you deal with it? Well, no. Um, even recently, I was confronted with this question in uh, in uh, the Arab Emirates. And I told them that uh, if there is somebody who is pretending to be a Kenyan with a, uh, uh, with a passport that looks like Kenyan, but not quite, how come you have not uh, deported them back to Kenya? <laughs> because then we would have evidence. And I can tell you that there's a lot more talk about this uh, illegal documentation than the reality. But there are a few cases which we have stumbled on, on Kenyans who have cheated that they are Kenyan, or people who have cheated that they are Kenyan. Uh, they have given uh, parents uh, as if the, their parents are Kenyan, but they are not. Those ones, when we get them, we prosecute them, and we confiscate the documents, and, and, uh, and return them to their countries. We have done that on a few occasions when we meet this. Oh, that's very good to hear because, I mean, as we in the UK government is talking about immigration, as Kenya as well, we've got to worry about immigration yeah. and of people that would pretend to be Kenya. Well, you also mentioned about uh, this, you know, um, <coughs> Kenyans out there who would want to have their ID, but, you know, because of maybe lack of birth certificates and stuff like that. So is there a way you link the services like offer of birth certificates and lead to the offer of the ID card? Or how can those two link up together? Well, we are aggressively registering Kenyans now and giving them their birth certificates, even late registration. And uh, we, we are insisting uh, that Kenyans should register their births uh, uh, as many as possible, in fact, if possible, 100%. And we may very soon uh, promulgate certain rules that will require that before you apply for uh, an ID, you ought to have registered your birth because then uh, we'll have a linkage. And, uh, but because we were very much behind uh, in uh, registering births, uh, we, we have not reached there yet. But we are now registering all our children in schools and making it compulsory. And uh, we are mopping up as many Kenyans as possible who do not have a birth certificate. And so that when we then make those regulations, there will be no hue and cry. Uh, people will know that uh, we have been warned <laughs> that it is just important. First, uh, the Kenyans who feared that by revoking their citizenship, now they, are, they have to hide their Kenyan passports. Now you can pull them out, <laughs> renew it, and use it whenever you are coming home. You are a Kenyan all the time. <laughs> it is very important for Kenyans to feel that even if you you went abroad and acquired a citizenship for whatever purpose you acquired it, you're still Kenyan. And to hold an ID is a pride that Kenyans hold very deeply. Uh, it shows you're Kenyan. There is no question about it. It's authentic. And uh, when you come home and you want to travel in the East African community, in Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and you have your ID, you don't need to use your passport. It, it is also a travel document for purposes of traveling in the market, which is good because uh, a passport is, uh, is a very valuable document. If, if it is stamped every day, <laughs> you should now later you. And the visa 
and the visa fees. And now you don't have to pay uh, the visa fees. That's good news. I know that um, whenever you came home and uh, you're a Kenyan, and you are holding a foreign passport, we treated you as a foreigner. Uh, now, now you're a Kenyan all the time.